Hey, I'm Printed for Fun, and in this video, I will um, show you my first look of the Quality Sermon P1 all in one laser and ear scanner at Formnext 2025 in Frankfurt. Um, I recall some testing, so we will jump into the footage, I guess. Let's look at the Sermon P1 scanner, and it's quite a handy unit with a nice display size. So to hold my hand out, it's quite compact. On the bottom, we have a normal camera thread. On the back, we can see it's quite similar to the 7S1, but in this unit, we got two IR emitters, it looks like. Looks like. So it's a bit different from the normal Sermon S1. Also, we have more prominent infrared uh, LED emitters uh, next to the wide angle lenses. It could be. Um, the, the person at the unit told me, or the booth told me, they are currently working on markerless laser scanning with the 7P1. So this may be some kind of preparation uh, for this feature, which will come as a software update. On the top, we see an air outlet, power button. On the side, we see a scan, start button. On the other side is only the USB plug with the option to lock it uh, when using wide mode. It's quite nice. Uh, this reduces the risk of port damage. What's also a very handy feature, the FP1 got a removable battery. So if we power it down, we can remove the battery. It's like directly on the side and you can pull the battery out. Supposedly the scanner comes with two batteries, but you can uh, purchase spares. So sadly there is no print on the battery, so I don't know the exact size, but this is quite nice for longer scanning sessions for it to be replaceable. All right, maybe we can now let's start a small scan of it. First, we have to wait for the booting. The um, scanner in this model runs Android with 24 gigabytes of RAM, and I think it had 256 gigabytes of storage. But uh, keep in mind, this is more like a prototype unit, um, uh, not like the final production one. No, we have to unlock it. There we still see it's based on Android, and maybe we will create a small scan of this this mechanical part therefore it's we do scan the the wheel right nice so i will can scan i will film it okay now we are scanning this car rim and the scanner itself is picking very well it's quite fast it's running at roughly a frame rate of I will see shortly 42 FPS, 45 FPS. It's so for prototype, we can do much faster for mass production. It can be done faster for mass production, yes. even if in the standalone unit. Yes. Okay, that's very nice. So I've seen on the promotional material, it's going up to 100 FPS scanning speed. Is this also like in the, the standalone setting or only when connected to a PC? Uh, connect to PC is faster, but we will working. We are working hard on. Yeah improving the speed. Yeah, but at, already at this point it looks very nice. This is getting result. It's picking good app. So I guess the, the laser emitter is similar to the, uh, the, the Raptor Pro, right? With 22 laser lines. Yes, but it's larger view. Yeah, larger uh, view. Also, it has a larger um, scanning area, right? Yes. Okay, very nice. So it's more like similar to the Salmon PS1 and the X1. See? Yeah, it's, it looks very nice. Even in a preview before uh, post processing. Yeah, and now I can check different modes. Yeah, yeah. Here you see blue laser. There's um, cross laser line, 22 cross yeah. laser line. But the Parallel single eye alone is not working currently, right? It's more yeah, yeah, like yeah. needs a software update yes. for the Mass final production. version. Yeah, final yeah. Part. And the parallel laser line yeah. for fun detail scanning. Yeah, yeah. And cross laser line for high efficient scanning. So in the parallel line, it also needs to be closer, right? Yeah, closer. Like on the Sony S1, similar. Yeah, you see? Very yeah, it, looks, it picks very up quick. Yeah. And the scanning frame rate is even above 50 F FPS. So for standalone Unique, yes. uh, suppose you're running a so normal fusion. Qualcomm SoC. Yeah, I can do the fusion here. Okay, right. Let's fuse it in the normal settings. Yeah, uh, we can do... Uh, so if you do the parallel laser line, yeah. you can... Increase the resolution, right? Yeah, you're yeah. correct. Wait, let's see you turn. Yeah, yeah. see you turn two five. See you turn two. 
It's from you also like the normal high resolution edges. Yeah. They can of course see that it takes a bit longer to pick up, yeah. but actually it's more quite detail, fast. Yeah, uh, it's very fast. And even in the preview, the quality looks excellent, I must say. Oftentimes it's more like a messy amount of, of <laughs> frames in the preview and you need to do perform the fusion, but this unit it looks very well. So maybe we can now try like quickly perform a fusion to see like the final result. Is this also like on the, the normal, normal quality scan for software where the fusion already generates a mesh? Yeah. Okay, so I can simply perform the fusion and then export it. Yes. Okay. That's fusion the mesh. The yeah, the fusion is the mesh now. Like, okay, this was quite uh, un uncommon for me with the update. So I always, always, uh, always yeah, perform. Update. Yeah, I always perform the meshing yeah. because I had a thought I need to need to do the meshing, not that I, that I can directly export it. Yeah. Okay. And if you want a better experience, uh, yeah. faster uh, processing. Yeah, yeah. You want higher. Um, I mean, better detail yeah, yeah. and better results. You can export the project to computer. Yeah, and wires and wireless, I guess, right? Yes. Okay, that's very nice. Okay, now let's look at the result, and it's coming out very nice. So let's compare to the like original part, and it looks excellent. I must say, I'm already excited for the product to be released. It's supposedly coming out in January, roughly. Yeah, January. Very nice. Will there be like uh, official announcement on the website and yes. detailed specs? Yes. When will they be released? Also like January or maybe, maybe in December? Maybe December. Okay, this will be very nice. Thank you, thank you. Have a nice day.